Hey guys, I want to apologize in advance if I look very shiny, oily, it's very hot. And I did want to turn on the fan because I know you'd hear it in the background, all the worrying. Because it was like that, I think in the last video or the video before that. But I did want to get this to you guys. I've been working on it so hard. And I'm so upset because I already shot this once and the video got interrupted so... I got really irritated <laughs> that day once that video got interrupted. I'm like, you know what? We're gonna do this another day. We're already losing daylight, so let's just let's just hold off on it when I'm feeling a little better. So today I think I'm okay. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's get to why you guys are here. We're going to talk about the current hair care and makeup favorites for, for the. Uh, I'm gonna say for the summer. Um, these are products that I've tried within like the last few weeks or the last month or two that I've come to actually love for the for the moment. Let's be honest, you use products for the moment and then you want to try something new and see how that works. So I will update you guys in the coming months on my new favorites, but currently I'm going to say for the summer these are my current favorites. So let's start with hair care. And first up we've got the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Refresher Spray for nourishing and conditioning, and this is for curls, coils, kinks, and waves. And for those of you who are not um, familiar with Carol's Daughter, Carol's Daughter is a um, company geared towards colored men and women um, in hair care. And actually, they did just recently um, launch a body care line as well. Um, kind of interested to see how that, how that works, but anyway, let's get to talking about this. This is something that I use between washes when my hair starts to be less um, curly and uh, wavy. This is just to refresh my hair to give it that extra uh, bounce and extra oomph. Um, the one thing I will say, it does help with the curls and the waves, but at the same time, it seems a little bit drying. Um, but I also go over it with an oil, so. To, to help keep it from being so dry. But I do like this because it, like I said, it gives me that extra curl and that extra bounce. I feel like I'm melting right now. <laughs> um, this says it has um, agave, sweet, uh, sweet almond, and wheat protein, deeply mo moisturizes, improves softness, and prevents frizz. Um, I think it does prevent frizz a little bit for me. It's been a long journey and a long struggle to find products that help with my frizz. Um, also says no alcohol, no parabens, no petroleum, no uh, mineral oil, and no, no artificial colors. Um, it doesn't necessarily say if it's safe for color treated hair. I don't have color treated hair right now, so I don't have that issue, but I wanted to let you guys know who do have color hair if it's okay, but I can't really tell. Um, next, we've got the Palmer's Olive Oil Formula Olive Oil Conditioning Spray or Conditioning Oil. And this is for frizz prone hair. And I really like this stuff because it gives me that oil without being like extra heavy. Um, I'll just take this out. I had this braided because I said I'm melting. And having this all on the back of my neck is so irritating. But I just want to show you guys the texture of my hair. Um, right now, this is after, I wash my hair maybe about once to twice a week. This is after about three days. And as you can see, it looks slightly weighed down. Um, that is from the oil. Um, I like to, like I said, moisturize it and I did use this this morning and then I went over it with the oil. Um, I may have actually went a little too heavy. I think I did about four sprays this morning and I normally do like two to three. But um, as you can see, it's pretty wavy right now, especially with me putting my fingers through my hair. Um, it's not as curly as it would normally be. But the frizz isn't as extreme as it would normally be as well. So um, that's something that I don't have to deal with when I use these products. Um, I'm going to cut this part out. <laughs> You guys don't need to see me rebraiding my hair. Alright, now that we're done.
done with that. Next we've got the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. And this stuff has actually become kind of like a holy grail product for me currently. Um, it says it's sulfate free and color safe. So I'm not going to tote that. Like I said, I don't have color treated hair right now. So don't quote me on it being color safe. That's just what the product claims. Um, it says intensely smooth and nourish natural chemically processed and heat style hair. Now, I don't typically style heat style my hair in the summertime. Actually, I don't think I've done it at all this summer, so I can't really say whether it's good for that. Um, but I don't tend to put products that are this heavy um, on my on my hair in the summer, or not in the summertime, but when I um, heat style my hair. This would be a little bit too heavy, I think, for my hair. I mean, I'd probably try it and see, but I think this will probably be a little, be, little bit too heavy for me to heat style. But I really love this stuff because it's very moisturizing for my frizz prone hair. And um, I think out of all the products, this has been the best product to treat that. Um, after using this for quite some time, I I've noticed that the frizz has been in it extremely dis I can't talk today <laughs> the frizz has been extremely diminished um, while using this product so I love like when I use this product I wash my hair and then when I'm getting out of the shower I will you know of course towel dry my hair and then I'll run this through my hair um, in sections and then comb it out and then I'll go over it with the um, I love oil conditioning spray and I'll go to sleep, I'll let it air dry, go to sleep on it. I don't typically wrap my hair, which I probably should start doing, but I don't typically wrap my hair when I um, go to bed. It's usually just all over the place. But when I wake up in the morning, I notice that the frizz is really not as extreme as it would normally be. So I have to note that these two products, because I've been using these together like all the time when I wash my hair, these two products work amazingly for my hair. Now, I can't say it'll work for everyone. This is just what's worked for me currently. Um, I've noticed some things that work for other people don't necessarily work for me. So don't, you know, quote me and say, oh, she told me to use this and it didn't work for me because it's not going to work for everybody. But these are my current favorites right now. Now, the last thing for hair care is the Nioxin Scalp Recovery Set. And one day <laughs> my itchy dandruffy scalp yes dandruffy is a word that i made up. um my itch, itchy dandruffy scalp got so bad that i came home and i was like you know what i've got to figure out something so i started watching some youtube videos to see what other people were trying and um a few people were using the niacin line so i found it on amazon it was about i want to say 23 dollars and you know, I have Prime, Amazon Prime, which is a um, two-day shipping, um, other perks as well, but you get two-day shipping, free two-day shipping with Amazon Prime. And when I got it, I used it right away that evening, and I will say it worked amazingly. Like, my, my scalp was so bad that I was scratching it almost all day at work. And my dandruff got so bad that you know you couldn't look at my hair without seeing flakes all over it so as soon as i used this product i felt instant relief I, I just couldn't believe it i'm like this is what i need to start using now okay it's kind of expensive for me but at the same time when you think about it you're getting three different products the only thing is they are very small these are, the, the shampoo and conditioner are 200 milliliters or 6.76 fluid ounces. And then the, the uh, serum is 100 milliliters or 3.38 fluid ounces, which I still have about a third of the bottle left of this. The shampoo, or no, the conditioner is completely empty. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted um, the sh the conditioner is completely empty, but I do have about a quarter left of the shampoo. And the this is a system that you do have to use together. 
other shampoos they say you have to use the shampoo with the conditioner you don't you don't have to do that but with this system this the way the ingredients work you want to use this all together so if somebody out there is suffering from a very itchy dandruffy yes i said dandruffy again itchy dandruffy scalp then i would say give it a try see what happens if it doesn't work for you you tried it now let's go on to the makeup which is my favorite for this section <laughs> this section of my favorites um first up we've got the julep eyeshadow duo this is the feels like uh feels like velvet eyeshadow duo and this is what it looks like these are the colors that i have and um i will say this is my favorite um set of eyeshadows that i have right now um as you can see the back <laughs> it gets jostled around in my makeup bag every day because i keep it with me every day um, but I love these colors. They're very highly pigmented. It is called a full coverage eyeshadow duo. And I will say it is very full coverage. Um, especially cinnamon. This color here is very full coverage. Very pigmented. So if you aren't good with eyeshadow like me, be very careful. Careful. <laughs> and then this is a spice. And the only thing I don't like about this duo is the colors because... They seem to blend too easily to where it all looks like one uniform color. So I think they could have went a little lighter with the color for the uh, spice, but both still amazing colors. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a swatch. You have to see if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can see it. Okay. <laughs> the lighting isn't the greatest right now. But if you guys can see that, this is a swatch. I might show you a better swatch. But these colors are so beautiful. Um, I tend to wear these alone most of the time. I don't, if you haven't seen my videos, I don't wear a lot of makeup. Um, there might be special days where I might wear, like today I may actually wore foundation and eyeshadow, but I also still use this duo. Um, most of the time, this is the type of work, makeup I like to wear, which is more natural, especially because I have a, a full-time job. You know, I don't really go too crazy with it. I might have days where I'm trying to experiment or something like that. But this is what I wear most of the time, and um, I'm loving it. So until I find something else that I like better, then this is my go-to right now for everyday wear. Um, next, also a Julep brand. This is the... Cream to powder eyeshadow stick in the color Champagne Shimmer. Sorry, um, one of my neighbors has this very loud scooter that he loves to drive up and down the block for two to three passes and then take it back to the driveway. <laughs> anyway, um, this is what it looks like. There we go. And I'll show you guys the swatch as well. That's one pass. I have hair on my hand so it doesn't swatch, swatch that uh, perfectly. But it is such a pretty color. It's like a rosy champagne color, like a very, very slight uh, rosy color. And one thing I didn't know about this eyeshadow, eyeshadow stick was on the other end is a little sponge tip. I had no idea until one day I was trying to pull the cap off and I pulled it off on the wrong end and there's a sponge tip. But you can blend it out with the tip and it turns into more of a powder. When you have it on your lid and you just put it on as a you know a stick shadow it tends to be very sticky so if you do get this I do recommend to use the um, the sponge tip I'm guessing that's why it's there but yeah this I love this because all you have to do is pull it out your bag swipe or turn up the, turn up the eyeshadow put on your lid take the sponge tip blend it out and you're good 
unless you want to put on mascara or eyeliner or something like that but you're good you want to add some you know a little pop of color to your eyelet eyelids oh i can't talk today to your eyelids this is perfect um they do have a good arrange good array of color color choices um they have black they have um gold they have green they have a lot of different choices I don't think they go too crazy with the colors. I don't think I've seen pink or anything like that. But these are amazing. It's like a metallic color. I don't know if I blended it out too, too well. But it's like a metallic color and it is so pretty. So the next time I get a, another um, Julep sub subscription, I'm probably going to get another one of those. Um, I do want to show you guys the, eye, the um, brushes that I use for my eyeshadows. This is the Carity E28. And I got to look up what type of brush this is. Because as you guys know, I'm not the greatest with makeup. And this is the Carity E31. And with this brush, I usually like to use it in my crease and on my outer V. And this brush, I like to use in my inner corner. And like if I'm putting a little highlighter on the um, around the tear to the area. I'm not sure what you call it. But um, yeah, these are the two brushes that I've been using lately. These are the best brushes that I have right now. Also from Julep, we have the When Pencil Met Gel Long Lasting Eyeliner in the color Gilded Gold Shimmer. And this is what it looks like. It's been sharpened a few times. <laughs> and this is, let me find somewhere to put it. This is a swatch of the color. And it is so pretty. It com comes off a little silver, but it is actually gold. Um, especially on camera probably come up, comes off really silver but I love this this um, eyeliner especially to give it a little pop um, I usually wear this with the eyeshadows because it's a more neutral look and like I said I like to wear this to give it a little pop I put it on like my waterline or even on my upper lid um, <clears throat> excuse me but I love this eyeliner and um, if you are looking for a good sharpener for these plastic liners julep has an amazing one um, I've seen the reviews for it and for some reason some people had issues with it I have no problems with it like it works perfectly for me and you know I never knew that you needed a special sharpener for one of these because um, when I had you know the plastic liners before excuse me um, I used a regular pencil sharpener and it wouldn't do anything. I'm like, well, what is the problem? <laughs> so I don't know if the Julep sharpener is just for the Julep pencils. Maybe they're made of a different type of plastic. I'm not sure. But for these, it works perfectly. So if that's something you want to look into, I'd say get that. Um, this is the scone. And I'm trying to remember the actual name because as you can see, all of the writing is completely gone. That's how much I use it. This is the Scone Insanely Intense Tattooed Eyeliner, Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner. And this is my go-to eyeliner right now. Um, I've tried different types, probably not as many as some of these beauty gurus, but this is my go-to liner right now. It is a felt tip liner. And let's see, I can't draw with my left hand, so let me see. I have no space. That's what the color looks like. Great color payoff. If you can see that. It has some great color payoff. And like I said, this is my go-to liner. Whether it's waterproof or not, I had it on my hand one night when I swatched it. And then I forgot and woke up the next morning and it was still there. So I went to wash my hands and I had soap and water and I had to really scrub to get it off. Um, but wearing wearing it on my lids, I wear it over eyeshadow because I apply my eyeshadow, of course, first, and then I put the liner on. And I don't think any, at least to me, I'm not sure, but I don't think any um, eyeliner can be waterproof if if it's over top of an eyeshadow. I swear, <laughs> if it's over top of an eyeshadow, um, that's just my opinion. I haven't actually done it before, but that's just my opinion. Um, next we've got the With a Twist Lash Bushing, Lash Bushing 
Lash Boosting Best Bamboo Mascara, also by Jula. There is a trend, I'm not sponsored. You see how small my channel is, I'm not sponsored. But I just love Julep's quality. Now there are maybe one or two products that I'm not as happy with, but overall, <laughs> I think I just, I love Julep right now, because their products are so quality. But this mascara is by far my favorite. Um, I think Julep, okay, is, I'm gonna say it's in the middle of drugstore and high end. And I've never used any high-end mascaras before. I've only used drugstore mascaras, but this is by far my favorite mascara. For one, you have the applicator. Let me show you what it looks like. You have the applicator here, and the thing with this mascara is it has an adjustable wand. So right now the wand is wide and lengthened, and then I'm going to screw it back the other way. And it's a little bit thicker and shorter. This mascara is so great. First, I go in with the widened wand and it separates and lengthens my lashes beautifully. And then I go over the same application with the shorter wand and it just volumizes my lashes and my lashes are just so beautiful. I, I use it on the upper lashes and the lower lashes and I don't really, I'll say maybe the lower lashes, I'm a little clumsy, so the lower lashes I might get the mascara all over not all over <laughs> but on the the waterline but um, that's just that's just me because any mascara I have that mishap but as far as application and results go this stuff is amazing so if you guys are looking for a mascara recommendation hands down hands down I love this stuff Last and least, we have the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lip and More Better. And as you can tell, again, there's no writing <laughs> on the uh, packaging. They used to be very pretty and silver, said ColourPop, all that stuff, but not, no, not anymore. Um, this is one of my faves, and the only thing is either I've gotten a bag a bad batch or either I got a bad batch or the formula wasn't that great but yet and still I still love this because for one the color I see you can see how watery it is it's just I don't really like the formula when it dries it's okay but it does dry a little too well for me and it's a little drying but um, as far as like you know going out to a, a special event or you know going somewhere special perfect all day probably not so perfect at least like I said the two that I have it doesn't you know I'm not gonna write it off I'm gonna try again and see if I get maybe a better two or maybe they you know re redid the formula but I'm gonna say the pigmentation is so amazing so amazing to the point where it's too amazing because one of the days that I did use this, like I said, the formula is very watery. So you have to be careful because I got it all over the side of my hand and didn't realize it. And I had on something with white in it. Look down, there's a nice little stain, like with lipstick. And I was so irritated. I'm like, this is not gonna come out because this is so hard to get off your lips. I'm telling you, the pigmentation is there. The staying power is there. You drink something, eat something, you don't have to worry about reapplication because it's still there. And I'm gonna say if you, you know, wipe yourself with a napkin or something like that, of course you're gonna have to reapply just to give it that, you know, crisp look. But this stuff is so highly pigmented. But I did wind up getting the stain out. So. But this is my go-to color when I want to go somewhere special. So thank you, ColourPop. I haven't written you off. I'm still going to give you guys another try. But yeah, I think I got this in an Ipsy bag. So it wasn't that, you know, I bought it and I was irritated with it. I mean, I got it in an Ipsy bag. I love the color. 
I will try again, especially since these are at drugstore prices. This is like, I want to say $6 on their website. Perfect. I'm not going to write you guys off. Anyway, that is everything for my hair care and makeup favorites. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos from me. My next installment will be body care and skin care. Now that is going to be my favorite video. I know some of you may love hair care and makeup, but I love body care and skin care. Sorry, I love it. <laughs> But that is a wrap, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!